Hey guys, it's September 11, 2023, and today's collective energy update is bringing guidance and how to work through and integrate these energies that are flowing in as we move through this mass societal transformation. And the first card that we pulled today is the Empress. So this is from the Medicine Woman Tarot deck, and this is Indigenous Wisdom. This card is about bounty. The Empress is a card about embracing your inner feminine, that inner goddess spark of you, and it's asking you to pull your energy back into yourself and to nourish yourself, to nourish your own journey, to feed your mind and your body and your spirit with the things that really fill you up. This is a card that asks you to establish this place of reasoning within and really understand why you speak and act and do in the ways that you do. And when things aren't working in your life, it's asking you to take this deep dive into your heart and to really assess where it is that you are sending your energy. Is it leaking out of your vessel? Are you stressed? Are you consumed with worry? Are you engulfed in these lower level feelings that really keep you focused on what's happening in the world outside of you? Or are you holding your power within and integrating it in a way that keeps you really self-empowered? Okay, so this is one that says it's time to go within and to figure out who you are, to really know who you are at a soul level and to feed the things that really nourish your heart so that you can become well acquainted with the feeling of being heart-centered. And the more and more and more that you do this, the more and more and more you begin to recognize when you stray away from the heart center because it arises through the experiences that bring you back into being a slave to this emotional state of mind that we have been conditioned to live in. And we are learning to step out of our emotions, to embrace the imaginative, the creative, the creativity that is innate within us and to use that spark of creativity and imagination to build a life that is more in alignment with who you are at your soul level. And then the second card that we got today is judgment. So this is a card of discernment. So what is discernment? Discernment is being able to have the ability to read the energy of situations as they occur. It's about expanding your awareness out in the outer world and of what's going on out there by expanding your inner world. When you learn who you are, when you know what drives you, you are expanding your knowledge of self and when you expand your knowledge of self, you expand the world that you live in. You don't change the world you live in. You change yourself and begin to encounter more of the things that are in alignment with who you are. It's the nature of energy. We are energy. We have a biological body, but we are energetic beings creating our reality. This is what science is revealing now. We're seeing all this chaos in the world as the systems break down because the systems have taught one perspective that no longer fit the species of humanity. And so we are making this shift into really knowing the truth of who we are and the truth of how we are driving the trajectory of what is happening in society. We are entangled quantumly in this collective agreement that is falling apart. And so we look at that from this third dimensional construct and if you can learn how to disentangle yourself from that way of being where you are no longer subject to reacting to your emotional state and you can learn how to 
embody a higher way of being where you can respond to events that occur in productive ways that further the progression of society as opposed to reacting and just creating more of this cycle of drama that we see just kind of exploding right now. That's discernment. That is the ability to look beyond the surface level appearances and to understand where things are coming from. This is energy reading and you can learn how to do it. Every single one of you, we embody this within our being naturally. It just needs to be tapped into. If you don't try to learn more about it, you won't get there. This is a journey. This is a development. This is a self-practice of growth and of continual learning in your life. And it's an understanding that you're creating what you are experiencing. And then our final card for this reading today is the Eight of Arrows, which flows very nicely with the Bounty and the Discernment card. The Eight of Arrows, I talk about this with uh, my coaching clients, and this is about committing to a way of life. This is making a commitment to a lifestyle, and this is required in order to really come into balance within yourself. It is not a magic pill. There's no magic pill that you can take to balance your mental, physical, and spiritual bodies. It is a commitment to yourself. It's a commitment to entering into a divine union and a divine relationship with that spirit aspect of you. And when you do the spirit aspect of you, there is an inner voice that will speak to you and through you and will change the trajectory of the course of your life, regardless of what's going on out there, because you change the focus. You change your focus to something inward, which leads to more expansion in your own personal experience. And so as we shift, we, I mean, <laughs> we're in it. We're in the thick of it, right? Everything is going. People are either, they know or they don't know. And so commit to a way, commit to this. If you've just kind of been in this learning phase, start to execute the integration of the things that you know. It is real. You are an electromagnetic being with a physical biological body. And you will only know this if you seek out that information. Um, and when you do, you are nourishing yourself. You're nourishing your spirit. You're nourishing your mind. And you are becoming more of who you are and integrating the wholeness of yourself and that is the experience that you wanted when you came here to create something beautiful in the physical world something that was born of the mind and then brought into your physical reality because you had such a strong desire in your heart Okay, I hope this helped and love you so much. Have a great day.